Hello, in this video I will be demonstrating how to install the newest UDID Faker onto any iDevice, iPhone, iPad, iTouch, using iOS, iOS 4 or any version of iOS 5. This is an iPod Touch 4th generation, just so you know. I'm running iOS 5.1.1. As you see, I'm in Cydia, so you'll need to be jailbroken, of course, in order to do this. You can watch either of my two videos on jailbreaking iOS 5.1.1 using Absinthe or Red Snow. Absinthe is the easier of the two and a little bit faster to jailbreak with. Uh, once you are jailbroken, uh, and you go to Cydia, and then you will need to manage your sources. So you click on Manage there. Sources here. Um, after I've installed this I will show you how UDID Faker works. Um, UDID Faker is handy for having multiple accounts in different applications. So I'll be adding the following source. I'm going to choose Edit here and I will choose Add uh, Cydia Y. So that's C Y D I A dot X S E L L I. C E dot com. Cydia dot dot com. Add source. I will choose add anyway. This is going to be done in just a moment. Turn to Cydia. Now that I've added uh, that source, I will search. And of course, you just type, start typing in UDID Faker. UDID. You see UDID Faker. Choose install. And uh, then you will confirm. Oh, but actually, as you saw, this is the latest version of UDID Faker, version 2.3. Let me just show you again. You see 2.3-3, latest version. Works flawlessly. So again, install, and then I will confirm. You start Springboard. And that's pretty much all there is to it as far as the installation of UDID Faker. As you see, I have uh, the shortcut over here now. I uh, will show you how it works using um, Vampires Live as an example. These are all the programs installed on my device. I will be showing you a game called Vampires Live. I'm going to first hold it off the screen a little bit so you don't see my UDID. Uh, now you see original UDID and random. You choose random UDID. So you can keep hitting that, it keeps generating a different number. Uh, so now that it's created a random uh, UDID, now let's say I wanted to use this UDID again in the future. I will simply hold this, select all, copy. So now I have that copied. Now let me just hit return, exit out. And uh, I can go to Notepad, and I can create a new note, and I can paste it in a Notepad and give it whatever description I want. So now I have it saved for future reference. Now let's me go to uh, Vampires Live.
Sophia thinks I have a new account since I changed the UDID. Now if I put the device back on my original ID by simply going down here, you see vampires? Um, that's how you know that this one is being spoofed because this is the only one that shows a different number there. I'm going to tap on that and then I'm going to uh, choose original I'm going to exit out and go back into vampires and you're going to see that there's a level 10 account there So there you go, that's how easy it is to use having multiple accounts with UDID Faker. I hope you enjoy the video uh, and uh, please subscribe, like my videos and uh, that's it.